Dr. Johnson, thank you so much for joining us here on MD Newsline Podcast. Can you please introduce yourself to our audience? Sure. Thank you for having me. My name is Amber Johnson. I'm an assistant professor of medicine in the section of cardiology, Department of Medicine at the University of Chicago, and I'm a general cardiologist. Wonderful. And today we're going to be talking about cholesterol. I'm really interested to find out how has the epidemiology of uh, cholesterol and um, ASCVD risk changed over the past decade in your practice? I would say that we are more aggressive about treating cholesterol and testing for cholesterol than we have been in previous decades. We have the data, years, decades of data that show us that um, LDL cholesterol, which is considered the bad cholesterol, is linked with cardiovascular events. And over the past decade, we've been more aggressive about trying to get those numbers lower. And among your patients, which lipid abnormalities like elevated LDLC, non-HDLC, triglycerides, things like that, are um, driving most of the residual cardiovascular risk that you see? Yeah. So when you look at the risk scores, a lot of them, most of them include LDL cholesterol. That really is the main target that we focus on uh, because we know that it's associated with outcomes. And then also because that's what our medications can treat. We have other medications that can help with uh, different things such as triglycerides. Um, However, when you look at the risk scores, triglycerides are not often part of the risk calculator. We also look at HDL. We know that higher HDL is considered a a risk reduction factor. Uh, But again, not a lot of medications that are able to increase HDL. Um, One other risk factor that I sometimes will test, especially for women, is a high sensitivity CRP. Uh, There's another risk score that uh, specifically adds the high sensitivity CRP. That's the Reynolds risk score. And that one has been validated to predict um, cardiovascular events for women. Mm -hmm. Interesting. 